Well, the Belvedere was kind of started, my dad actually, um, I talked to David and David called a few times and said, hey, I got this old Belvedere that's pieced together, you know, with this shop out east, you know, they're doing the metal work and he wanted somebody to finish it. And that, that kind of went on for a little while. My dad talked back and forth with him and, and then finally I'm like, yeah, we were just gonna paint it. I'm like, yeah, you know, we kind of said, yeah, we'll paint it and do a few things. And, you know, as one thing, it always turns into another. And, you know, and what you see is what you get behind this. But started out basically just kind of a paint job and a few things and turned into uh, just a, a full-blown awesome project. But initially, I was trying to look at, well, what can we use a car that looks more or less stock for rather than just taking it to car shows? And so I came across the factory appearing stock tire drag racing class, the fast class. And that's what we started off building it for. Um, but that was in 2007. And so by the time I brought it to Troy's in 2010, after we got it back into a clean, straight body in white condition, the, the guys in the fast class had already gotten down into the 990s, 980s, and their cars were very specific, dedicated build cars. I, I talked with the, the guy that started the class and was asking him, you know, so can you, you know, can you drive this on hot rod powertrains? Ah, no way, a thousand miles, forget it. So at that point, I decided I wanted to, to accomplish those three goals with it. I wanted to run less than 10 seconds in a quarter mile, I wanted to drive a thousand miles trouble free, and I wanted to hit 200 miles an hour in a standing mile. And once I decided those three goals, then that dictated really the rest of the build. I needed twin turbos in order to get the power levels that I, that I wanted to get to. The, uh, going with the 4L80E uh, transmission, I needed the overdrive to be able to get to over 200 miles an hour with it. I went with the gear vendor's overdrive on top of that. Uh, Bob Sweeney is the engine builder from FX Engines, did a fantastic job on the engine. And so I told Bob I wanted a 572 Hemi, and he told me, no, you want a 426 Hemi. He, he wanted to keep it much smaller because he wanted to run more RPM, wanted to keep as much meat in between the bores as possible to, to keep them round during high boost. But I really wanted this thing to be a nice, comfortable street driver. And so that's why I wanted the big cubes. So when I'm not on boost, I've got the torque to just be able to drive. And so we ended up compromising at 526. And the reason for that is because four and three eighths was the biggest bore that I could talk Bob into going into and still leave enough meat in between the, the bores. You know, finally got the engine in it and you know, you're able to start and drive it a little bit. And then that was, that was fun. And then we did some bunch of pulls on the chassis down. I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, it makes a lot of power and everything. But then once we really started getting the electronic side of it and making it go down the drag strip and making it drivable, you know, then we started with the torsion bar thing and that was suicide. You know, I, I told David finally after I really drove it the first time, I'm like, there's no way this car's leaving here with this front end on it because it's just not safe, especially going 200 mile an hour. Just wasn't meant to be, so we changed that. And then it really stuck, all right, now it's driving good, you know, and, and, and then it just kind of just kept getting better. And the craziest thing was David had hot rod fly here and he got in it on a rainy day and drove it about 300 miles down to uh, Wilmington, Ohio with Hot Rod Magazine following him and went down there and then they called me uh, the next uh, Saturday, I believe it was, or, and he went 194 mile an hour and I'm thinking, this guy's nuts. And then it just went off from there, you know, then we got it ready for drag week and, you know, 1,700 miles and ran 970s, 150, pulling a trailer and I think put one window fuse in it. The, the things you got to remember is eight inch wheel, 265 tire, 4,800 pounds. I mean, that really, I think we've maximized the effort out of the car. I don't know that it could run much faster, you know, because we have plenty of power, but um, at 22 pounds of boost, it's probably making, you know, at the flywheel, probably 1,600 horsepower. I mean, it's got the power and it's just brutal. Driving the car at 200 miles an hour is just awesome. It, for anybody that's old enough to remember the old Battlestar Galactica show from the 70s, and they were launching those Vipers out of the tubes, and you get that lights flying by, that's what it feels like. It just, it, it's just an awesome, awesome, it's one of the most awesome feelings I've ever had in my life. From what it started as in the beginning to what it ended up as is, I wish I could build 20 just like it, you know what I mean, because that's us. To watch the full episode, head over to thehouseofmuscle.com. But before you go, make sure to subscribe now so we can keep you updated on new episodes along with everything that is The House of Muscle.